Hello and welcome. In the following I want to outline the central principles underlying our online classes and would like to give you some advice how to apply them. So let's look at a typical online class, for example our MOOC Linguistics 101 Fundamentals. Accessing the class is simple. Just log in with your personal data and you will find the class on your personalized VLC start site under your current classes on the VLC. A click on the class name leads you to the class start site where after class activation you have access to several class related links. For example to the bibliography, to the link section and to the Facebook group associated with this class. The class itself consists of 15 units, where the first one, the class preliminaries, informs you about some general aspects of the class, and the last one is the optional class evaluation, where you can give us your opinion about the class. The remaining 13 units exhibit the content of this class, and if you wish you can retrieve an overview of each unit by means of a click on one of these information symbols, even if you're not logged in or the class is inactive. But how do you tackle such learning units? Well, let's pick out one in order to illustrate the several options which are the same for all units. A click on the unit title leads you to the unit start site. Here we are. As I said, all e-learning units on the Virtual Linguistics campus have the same structure as far as their unit start site is concerned. Thus, they have the same navigation menu on the top left. The link introduction, that's where we are right now, refers to the start screen where the central goals and the central topics of a unit are listed. The introduction is always displayed when you load a class start site. The virtual session is the heart of an e-learning unit. It presents the content. So a click on virtual session opens a new site which contains the content of the unit. We'll do that in a second. Each unit has a worksheet that is an electronic test where you can show mastery. For this reason these tests are referred to as mastery worksheets in our terminology. And the link practical loads a set of additional questions and tasks about the unit's content. Normally the first thing you want to do is loading the virtual session in order to tackle the content. Okay, let's do it. And again we have a menu on the left. This time however it mainly exhibits content related links. There are several options as to how to tackle the content. Option 1. Use your own strategy. Go through the content at your own pace. Use the main menu here or use the sitemap and walk or should I say click through the content and apply your own content acquisition principles. Option 2. Use the link questions and try to solve the problems listed here on this question sheet. There are never more than 10 problems or questions. And again, you have several options. You can click on the hyperlink associated with each question in order to look at the respective site. Or you can click on one of these video symbols here that sends you to the precise passage of a video in our channel where the question is dealt with. Or in fact you can use both. In addition to these options we also offer you a list of all videos that we find relevant for this unit and furthermore there is our interactive tutor, a diagnostic integrated testing tool where you can check your knowledge and receive direct feedback. The interactive tutor is an option just for you. No results will be stored. By the way, 
Each unit is connected to at least one of our e-lectures in our YouTube channel and can be watched without leaving the virtual session. Here is an example. Or let's look at the larynx next. So here is the larynx. which serves as a modifier to the airstream and is responsible for phonation. And as you can see, we also provide you with the slides that were used and created during the production of that video. Maybe you want to print them out and make your notes on them. So all in all, you have several options to acquire the content. Video, multimedia, print material and interactive tests. Just make your choice and find out what suits you best. Well, and once you feel confident about the content, you get, can return to the unit start site and do the mastery worksheet, which takes up the content of the virtual session and the e-lecture of a unit and asks some randomly chosen questions about it. The mastery worksheets which exhibit all sorts of formats from dynamic multiple choice via input tasks to complex audio supported tests. These mastery worksheets are important prerequisites for the certification of the class. In all VLC classes you have to do as many worksheets as there are e-learning units. These worksheets have to be passed. If you do not pass them in a first attempt, don't worry you can try as often as you like and no one will notice. Only if you pass a worksheet and submit the result, your successful attempt will be stored in the VLC database. And your class instructor will know about your success. And if you want, you can always do them again to even increase your score. Last but not least, each e-learning unit is connected with a practical sheet where additional questions can be solved. These questions are paired with model solutions that can be retrieved according to a predefined rhythm. The model solutions can be textual explanations, diagrams or even short videos that explain the problem. Well and if you have problems or wish to discuss further things well, then we invite you to use our class-related Facebook group, which you can reach via the class start site. Alternatively, you can use our forum, which is open for all registered users of your class, but we have learned that people prefer the social media rather than our integrated messaging systems. Finally, it is important to know that in an online class we do not teach. Rather, we supervise your activities, we try to motivate you to do your tasks in time and we make sure that everyone is served as well as possible. So, we invite you to join us in one or several of our online classes. The content that has been created by the Marburg Linguistic Engineering team is there. The rest is up to you. So, see you soon.